Good evening. It is June 7th. And what we're going to be doing today is continuing our work on our Harmony export process. So I'll have to get back into where I actually was yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but the day before, since I pretty much crashed and fell asleep for 24 hours. Which happens. Let's just get our files open. So we're working with Fatstack as a first example here. Make sure that we, we got him working properly. Basically making sure that we can export all of his content properly. So we're getting the emissive maps, the normal maps, and the sprite maps properly out of So where were we? What were we doing here? All right. Well, let's just um, let's see. I believe I was at the point where I was trying to figure out if I could remove a whole bunch of logic with our seeing if something existed or not and the only way I've been able to figure out if something exists on a specific frame is by cracking open the xstage file reading the XML and following up the exposures tag nothing else inside of Harmony's scripting system has actually let me figure out if something exists in the scene which is really unfortunate so what we want to do is at least make it so we don't have to be on the current display in order to export a one specific display that could be different. I think we've almost got that. Where is all that stuff? So it's all of this stuff is what it looks like. Um, So it's a, we're like found rigging object with uh, with search name. Sorry, I need to I need to get back into this, and it's going to take a while for me to get my bearings. So let's see if we just try to export this sdig. What are we getting? So these are all the objects that we had discovered in our scene. And then, all right, these are all the things that we discovered for us. So we actually found the objects. And it looks like they're at the appropriate scales for everything <clears throat> on the appropriate frames in the right spots. All right, so that's how we can actually snag those.
So still just waking up here. <clears throat> and we had no properties on these actual objects which determine like if they actually existed, like we've only got these exposure, these element sequence that are on the columns themselves. Was there any way for us to get column data? So now we've got like all these nodes. So we got like all the nodes contained by all these things. <clears throat> and this object map, the search name we have actually created from like the hierarchy in the X stage file with the, the columns and all that sort of stuff. So what we'd like to do is Find the object based on a column name, and the question is, do we have any column names for these things? So why don't we just go through and print out the columns that we got? Like, might as well, right? And we'll see if there's any information that we can use to tie them together. So let's print out some of this information and uh, we'll see what we can find. Maybe we can not have to parse the entire file if we can somehow find a way to match columns with um, If there's some way we can match the um, the nodes with columns, then we can somehow figure this out. And not parsing the file would be real nice, because I don't want to rely on save file formats. <laughs> then we'd have like a major revision change in Harmony, and all of our crap would be broken. That'd be really unfortunate. So let's see what we've got for columns. So these columns are these specific names. I 
we've got these drawing IDs. So let's see, we've got these actual IDs here. <clears throat> so these columns definitely do have our... I mean, some of them have what we what we need here. Let's see if these drawings actually have like these rect threes on them. <clears throat> so the columns that are drawing columns do appear to have like these scene sequences with exposures on them so if there's some way we can snag that information off of the column get entry turns the value of a cell in the column So it is a drawing layer. Get drawing column list. We see list of names of drawing timing columns. Get column list of type. And what we're trying to get is the scene sequence exposures or something like that. So, I mean, we basically want, like, if type is drawing. I mean, it's going to be like. get entry and we've got the column name and we want the sub column there's like there's an actual sub column number and then we want to add a frame So I guess we can do like a for our j equals zero, j is less than ten, like j plus plus. We can actually like maybe go through the indices. And this will give us an entry. We'll see if this works. I 
I just like how it's all blank. So there's nothing here. Um, okay. All right, so that didn't do anything. So let's try something else. Let's try the uh, get drawing type. And this is column name and then at frame. So it'd be like um, at frame index is drawing type. Maybe we can pick something out of key frames. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out where things exist. We just have all these eyes. Let me see. We search for this specific column. Everything is an eye. And this is saying these are in between frames. Doesn't seem right. I mean, every one of these is a in between frame. Maybe it's get drawing timings. And we're basically just poking around trying to figure out where the hell all this stuff is. So this is a string list. So I'm not exactly sure how that works with um, Qt. And we're just still stumbling around in the dark here trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Spotify, get the fuck off the screen. 603 is a problem. 603. Drawing timing stack at undefined is not a function. Um, 
maybe it's at. And this is where some of the QT stuff kind of comes in. And messes with you where you're, you're trying to do something. Because you're not sure if it's an actual um, like JavaScript array or not. And it looks like we are getting something here. Timings don't look like they're really doing anything, are they? There's nothing on any of the pivots. <coughs> Alright, well, you know what? I'm I'm kind of done looking at this. I'm just going to say there's no way for me to figure this out um, with our current system because I'm not going to spend two million years looking at this. It's not worth my time. let's see we've got these nodes we've got like all the positions and everything else we need to turn this into And then what we've been doing is basically setting these values based on column get entry on every frame. All right, so this is for every key in the loaded object exist map. We're going to make a new object frame F. We're adding the frame to it. And this frame is going to be... f.m frame so it's it's definitely this get no description on a specific frame and what is this doing it's calling node get adder no name all those other things and then basically what we're setting here is
We'll just remove these ifs because we've got all of our all of our stuff here already, so we can just get all the stuff here. All right, so this is going to be the x value is going to be desk dot impos dot x. This y value is desk impos y. We have the value. The value is going to be what this scale x. This will be scale y. And then we've got the angle, which is just desk dot an angle. So let's see. Um, let's clean up a little bit of this a little bit at a time. So this is going to be, yeah, so these are all good. So we should actually be able to just Get rid of all of this garbage here. So let's see if we actually get everything. I can't find variable line 612. Okay, it's a true object name. Um, Yeah, it's just node name. Well, let's see, what is true object name? Or like stripping off all the stuff on it.
We don't have to fix everything in code, we just have to fix the small things. Well, let's see. If we actually export, do we get what we want? Because we should be getting what we want. So let's uh, actually render is true. And what does it look like inside of SDIG sprites? We've got all of our frames. Let's see, we've got our raw name. Our object name is just not correct. The object type and object identifier. It looks like we have the right width and height and all that. The issue is going to be that our uh, our names are wrong. So let's work on fixing those names. Alright, so the true object name is this object name thing here. The raw name is the search name. The raw name should be the... Something like that, and I think if we replace this, this is... Like can we call get name on it? That'll give us rg dot pivot and then it should work. So let's take a look at what we've got now then. The object name is nothing. Well, the object name is nothing. It should just be empty. This one is body, and it's an RG hit body wrecked. Object identifier is hit, which is correct. And body wrecked and fizz. Well, that most definitely looks correct. So what this means is we don't have to be on the timeline anymore to actually export something. So let's make sure we can actually do that then. Why don't we? Um, So where do we check that? We're like, all right, is the current display? You must be on. Alright, so we should be able to 
go ahead and reload this script and if we go ahead and jump over to like the s idle and then we export the s dig we should get everything correct so you should be able to export whatever you want when we'll wherever we need to. So our sprite sheets look correct for the dig. Is the timestamp correct? Yeah, timestamp looks right. Normals look right. The missives are correct as well. Cool, so it looks like that all worked as expected. All right, so we fixed a lot of the small things that have been plaguing us. Um, the next thing is to see if we can do something about this list for animations. Because what I think would be real nice is if, like one of the issues here we've got is Well, now I've removed everything it has to do with the displays. Like, these displays don't need to... They just need to exist, but you don't actually need to work with these displays at all. Um, you don't need to actually use them, so hunting through this dropdown really isn't a problem anymore. So what is a problem is this dropdown. So what I should do is maybe I should have, like, a whole checkbox field for which animations you want. See if there's any sort of UI that I can put together, which is like, which animations would you like to export? And if we had a whole bunch of checkboxes with, with like a master multi checkbox, you could probably pretty easily mess with it. So let's see. What exactly do we need to do for this?
Well, let's find out. So you have like get position of node and no descriptions and all that sort of crazy stuff. It's actually a hell of a lot simpler than it used to be. Yeah, we can get rid of some of these variables. So we might be able to save a little bit of time here by moving some of these operations outside of this because we're grabbing this this object map here is getting made multiple times So let's pass the object map down. We're basically going to load the object map once. And that object map, the reason this object map sucks is because basically We're parsing the XML file for <laughs> the actual thing in order to figure out some of the data, like where objects exist and things like that. It's just not very good. Man, we're actually starting to get rid of stuff. Like, that's how you know things are going well, is when you start just wholesale deleting crap. Alright, cool. I'm going to actually throw a few of these things at the top for debugging flags. I 
Let's make sure everything still works after we went and destroyed a whole bunch of things. Failed to remove directory structure. Sdig slash emissives. Wondering if I can have a better error message on there. Then basically, you know, because I don't be like, why, why couldn't it delete this? I don't know what. And then I'll, he'll have like Earth and View open, like locking the folder, so it can't delete it. And be like, well, er, space and computer skills can be challenged at times. All right, cool. So we've got all of our stuff here, and let's just double check that it actually all. Exported. Stig, sprites, sprite sheets, and yeah, we've got our camera peg on there looking correct. Well, that may not look correct, the um, if we go to our display all it's totally correct yes yeah, so there we go Everything is working as it should. So you got support for cameras, you got support for other things. All right, let's get, let's take a stab at, let's take a stab at making a better UI dialog. So let's see what we can do. What I've got right now is I've got a drop down with all the displays on it. It would be nicer to just have checkboxes. So you got like select directory, we've got scene options, animation. Do we have any checkboxes already on our dialog? Like, yeah, we've got reuse frames. Let's see if we go ahead and add, like, export emissives, export normals, CB export normals, or export emissives, CB export normals. So if we go ahead and cancel this refresh and reuse frames is not an object line 1548 Was that literally because of this UI? We probably have to wrap these things into like row two like slash item right here. So maybe we can do one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so here we go. We've got like export emissives and export normals. 
So we should basically just take this row Throw it up here, this should be one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so we got export emissives and export normals. I'd like to stick that on a new line. So maybe we should make it row three and column zero and one. Learning, learning about QT UI here. Yeah, okay, so we got export emissives and export normals. All right, cool. So we want to have these checked by default. So if we throw our UI over here, what we should have is, let's look at our reuse frames, CB reuse frames. And what we want to do is Dash can export, uh, export emissives, and export normals. I mean, should we have an export sprites as well? Why not, right? We're already putting it in here. Let's put all three. So it should be ACV export sprites, export emissives, export normals, and we should have them dot check. So it will save our preferences. And let's see where we have also got this CB reused frames. So initialize saving directory with preferences. Alright, so we want this reuse frames sort of stuff here. And this is normals, all these should be set to true. All right, so now what we should see when we pop up Harmony is we should see all those checked by default. Line 15555.
So we have connections here. We have set checked. I guess it's more of this. I wonder if we can add more senders. Kind of like this, or if we need some other thing. All right, so the question is, why didn't we see the sprites? All right, so we got zero, one, and two. QT is stupid. Looks like it's not saving. When does it actually call save? Save preps is in the export callback. So only if we actually export anything do we call this. So when we uncheck all three, or uncheck just the first one, hit export. Failed to remove data directory structure. It's probably because we were in it. All right, so it looks like all that's working. Um, we probably should get the so now we want this to actually be respected 